So, how easy is it to spread fake news? Earlier in the week, I asked the panel to try and spread some fake news about themselves on social media or post a post-truth. <laughs> with the promise of lots of clicks for whoever got the best response. For example, I tried to start a rumour on Twitter that I was going to be the new Doctor Who, which instantly led to this incredible reaction. They made Richard Iwadi one of the favourites. <laughs> Please take that picture away. Let's get rid of that picture. <laughs> Richard O. Yes. Uh, what was your post-truth? It's very weird. I, I tweeted that, because um, I thought it was believable, I tweeted we had exciting news that um, uh, Kanye West was going to be on Pointless Celebrities. Let's have a look at that tweet. It, it, he said, OK, I'm not supposed to say it's till Saturday, but it's too much fun to keep to myself. Kanye West is booked on Pointless Celebrities. <laughs> So it's interesting, but it was so believable. A few people uh, said, oh, that's fake news, but so many people got really excited that after 10 minutes I had to delete it because I got so embarrassed at lying, which makes you think about these people who do post fake truths. What's, what's in their soul? Because it was so awful. But the last week, the, the press office has literally been inundated with people from America asking for comment about Kanye coming on. We had Kanye's people got onto us and said, I don't know where you've got this from, but Kanye, I'm afraid, is unavailable. However, <laughs> genuinely, they said, P. Diddy would be available to do it. <laughs> that is true. You can't not have P. Diddy, Diddy's surely. Diddy's always his... Diddy's up for anything, isn't he? Well, I mean, well, it, it you don't even need to is, ask yeah. him. He'll just come. <laughs> <laughs> Your job is keeping him away. <laughs> It got picked up by some very respectable music websites almost immediately, including, ironically, Fact magazine. <laughs> uh, which is now renamed Alternative Fact magazine. Uh, things got out of hand. At some point, someone even started a petition. Prevent Kanye West from appearing <laughs> on BBC. <laughs> Actually, unfortunately, that is a fake. We did that ourselves. Oh, but okay. <laughs> can't trust anything on this show. <laughs> I think Kanye would be amazing on Pointless. I think it'd be great. We've had Jedward, and if we can have Jedward, we can have, uh, we can have Kanye, surely. <laughs> You're very much sort of the quiz as Jedward yourselves, if yeah. I might say so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? I Are just you... mean if you sort of take away all of their natural sex appeal... Mm. ..then... <laughs> And we've got a great name, because you put names together and we're called Richard. <laughs> Catherine, what fakery did you attempt? I tweeted that I had a fake butt, a BBL, Brazilian butt lift. Uh, let's have a look at that fantastic tweet. You said, it's true, I got a BBL by an unlicensed surgeon, but I'm making the best of it. Sorry to let you down, refunds for cancelled shows this week. <laughs> tweet two was, I can barely move, it's like being nine months pregnant again, but in the bum. <laughs> I think it got in some um, websites and papers and things. Did it ever? Within hours, The Sun's website went with comedian Catherine Ryan reveals shocking pictures of botched bum lift as she's forced to cancel shows. <laughs> <laughs> it was also picked up by The Express, The Star, The List, Digital Spy, The Mirror and, of course, bastion of true news, The Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of celebrities have had this. And there are many themes. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually had my anus lowered um, <laughs> to the middle of my calves. Um, Who was your guy? It was a back alley anal lowering. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, sports stars got in touch via my DMs, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you OK, hon? Wink emoji. Which sports stars? I'll tell you later. Does it rhyme with Ravid Backham? <laughs> <laughs> He's desperate for a big bum. But, um... Uh, John, what did you go with? I went on a similar angle to Catherine, a sort of body-shaming, sort of modern phenomenon. The people went for it big. Uh, I told people I was going to wear odd socks. <laughs> The tweet was, I'm going to wear odd socks today. It feels like that's the way the world is going and I might as well just get used to it. <laughs> socks it. Are you wearing odd socks this evening? No, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> it got 3,000 likes. I think people are really on board with you loosening up. It really is a, a telling tale of your comic voice when that is the most successful tweet I've ever twacked. <laughs> I think we can safely say, Catherine, you posted the best post-truths, so you get all the clicks! <laughs>